Kake here and today I'm going to be doing a hamster care tutorial. Hope you enjoy. So here's my hamster Toffee. She is a winter white hamster girl. Obviously her name is Toffee. The main things that you need in a hamster's cage are a food bowl, which is right there, a water bottle, bedding, or a hideout, but you really need bedding, which I don't have a hideout, I just use that thing in there but she really loves. You need wooden toys and you need a wheel. My wheel broke and we're going to get a new one today, so you need a wheel. This is optional, the hamster ball, so when you're cleaning the cage, you can put your hamster in there and you can them roll around. You can use a toilet paper roll so they can climb through. I'm gonna put this in her cage now. Mine opens from the top and right there. Now I'm going to put that in there. So those are the main things that you need in a hamster cage. So the food that I have in there right now, um, except for like the greens and stuff, is this one which came with the cage. Um, there's, that looks like her. But here it is. If you want to pause it now, I looked at the ingredients. Um, where are the ingredients at? If you want to pause it now and look at that, you can. Okay. There, you can hit that in the background. So it's by All Living Things, not sponsored, but it's um, Hamster and Triple Daily Diet. And that's what I use for her. And it comes filled, and that's all I've used. I've had her for like a month, I think, now. But yeah. And then water in here is just faucet water and then the bedding is pine bedding okay it's for hamsters and rats guinea pigs and bunnies uh it's by pets pick and yeah this where she loves the stuff and it absorbs the odors and yeah that's it if you want to that you can't i don't know what that means but there, there are all the stuff that I have used in her cage. I got her at PetSmart. Um, she, the reason I picked her is because when the lady stuck her hand in the cage, she was the only one who didn't hiss. And when we were looking at them, she was sleeping in the corner and she was really fat. She, we got the fattest one. And yeah, and I got the cage at PetSmart. This came with the food and the bedding, but I ran out of the other bedding, so I just bought some of this. It was the same brand as the food, but I just put some of the food in here, in this jar, with um, a tablespoon in there. And then I separated this it, from the treats, because all she eats was the treats in there. So I just put that in there, and she really likes it, and she wants to get out. And every so often, I make her... And every so often I make her little things. As you can see the greens is romaine lettuce. That's the only safe one for her. And I made her hamster safe um, pancakes the other day. She really did enjoy those. As you can see there's none, none left. They have hamster pellets in there. She doesn't really like those as much. But yeah, there is all of the stuff that I have in there. Okay, I'm going to be handling her and showing you guys. So I'm going to open up the cage and I just stuck my hand in there. Okay, and I wait for her to get on. And here she is in all her glory. She's really fast when she's really excited. I think all hamsters are. But if you drop your hamster, just leave them for just a second. And if they start running, trying to run away, just go and put your hands around them and yeah. Okay, she's very active today, so I'm going to put her back in there. If your hamster tries to like climb over like she did and then hunch over, that means you just stick out your hand and keep doing it. If she's really fast or he, whatever, you just want to just keep going and then try to open the cage and put her or him back in there. So my hamster, or all hamsters are nocturnal, that means that they sleep during the day and at wait 
if they sleep during the day and at night they're awake, which means you probably would want a sound wheel. Mine is not that silent. Um, so this stuck in here and it went away. loud, but it is, trust me. You can hear that every night. Every night. And I, stupid decision, I decided to move her in my room. As you can see just my ice cream bowl from earlier. Um, but yeah, that's the, if you want to tame your hamster, you just want every so often when you first get your hamster, you just want to stick three treats through the little bars like this. So get a treat. That's okay. Well, get a treat. Stick it through the bar. Wait for them to find it. And there you go. You can keep doing that every so often to your hamster. And then if you feel brave enough, open the top. Stick your hand in there and give them a treat like this. So I'm going to feed her a lot of treats because she's been like really good recently. So I'm going to give her one of these, open up the top, stick my hand in there and do that and then close it. If she does it, you think she's eating really fast, she stuffs it in her cheeks. That's why sticky foods are not good because they get stuck in the pouches. So after you do that for a couple of days and they're used to your hand, if you get the treat, you put it in your hand, and then you can just keep it there until they're done eating, and then they'll climb onto your hand, and you can handle them. Kind of like this. So get a treat. You've been doing this forever now, it seems like. Get your hand, and then just leave your hand on there. And they might bite you, it doesn't hurt that that much. And they might climb onto your hand. And if they do, don't freak out. Just put them on your lap or something. You see what? What is that? <laughs> you can barely even see her now. And then when you're done with your hamster, just get them back in your hand like you did before. Get them up. Sorry for the bad camera things. And then close it. And make sure it's tightly on because one time, I didn't close it well enough and she squeezed through and I was like, oh crap, and I lifted it up and yeah, got her. But that's how to like tame your hamster. That's how you tame your hamster to you. But yeah, you might want to get a lot of toys because she's been like climbing, you can see like where we had the wheel because of the dent in the bars. She's been climbing, she's been climbing on the bars and like just standing there and waiting for the wheel. She's puppy. Hello. Hello. So she really likes the tube and stuff, and she sleeps in that black and white thing. Last night I had to take this out because she was drinking so much. Oh, she's stuck. Puffy. Okay, sorry. I thought she was stuck in the thing because of that noise. Okay. But she can climb up here and do that all that stuff because she is so energetic during the day and night she's like never sleeping i don't know why the hamster is doing that it's kind of like a dog but way more faster here's this itching you just have a little itch behind their ear and every time they eat well mine does it cleans their hands so yeah so now that's basically all you need to know for like what they do and how to tame them and what to feed them and their toys and stuff. So that's basically all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. I'm Alpaca and I'll see you guys next time. Say bye Toffee! <laughs>